black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what is up? What is good with y'all? I whipped up myself a big old batch of my homemade hoodies coney the other day. I've been using it kind of a little bit out of the freezer. I think I might do a little bit of a coney week, if you will, and do different variations of foods with coney sauce. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Today we're trying sausages. I haven't had a coney sausage ever in my life. Definitely a coney dog, coney burger, never a coney sausage. So... We're trying something new. A couple hash browns on the back, but before we do anything more, we must <laughs> pop up pour. And we're coming in with another juice today. We're doing a peach juice. He's on these juices lately. When I went grocery shopping, I picked up a bunch of those those freezer juices, those dollar juices. We're getting off the carbonation for a little bit for whatever reason. But peach juice, instant classic. Always amazing. Allen's peach cocktail being the best, but uh, still this one's good. It's a brand I've never had before, but it is delicious. All right, we got two soft, real soft, brand spanking fresh. Look at that. Maybe I'll give you the top of the lid too. Brioche style buns, nice and steamy, give them a little microwave. And there you have it. The Hoodies Home Brewed Coney Sauce. It's in production. I've designed the label. I'm just looking at getting a, a, a food, a backpacker, to start selling it locally, to try to sell it locally, to see what happens. All right. I'm so excited for this. Mmm. I thought that was a pro move. Lining the inner of the bun also with coney and mustard to envelop and blanket that whole sausage. very very good very different though so much different than a hot dog the smokiness and the cheddar that are in the sausage and the fat content like the grease level Though delicious, they a little bit overpower the sauce. It gets the sauce gets a little lost. Whereas, like when you have a coney dog, I feel as if the coney sauce is either the star or they balance perfectly. Not entirely certain on that. I'll tell you what though. My Kony sauce game is fucking perfect. And yes, I had to drop a big app on that just to drive it home. It is that good. All right, let's hit intermission with a per squirt breakfast style hash brown. I bought a huge sleeve of these. They're like $1.99 and you get like 20 in a sleeve. So I'm using them up with a lot of meals.
But uh, it's the same thing as a fry. It's a different form. Mm. It's so interesting. They're name brand ones. You get like eight in a pack for like four, four ninety nine or something like that. You get the no name ones. You get like a party size pack for two bucks, and they're like pretty much the exact same quality. But wow, breakfast hash browns are delicious. All right, we switched it up. We're trying it with ketchup. We'll see how this goes too. I weirdly prefer when I make one of these sausages, I have it with ketchup generally. So I figured maybe it might translate. I'll be honest, I think I like it better in this scenario. Try a little extra. Mm. That's magnificent. As you all might have noticed, I've been experimenting with some shorts just to see how it is. I've also been a little bit off the huge meals lately, keeping it a bit lighter. I think it's mainly because spring's creeping in. My appetite hasn't been huge. I also did want to experiment with shorts and the algorithm a little bit just to see what's up. Turns out YouTube still hates me. <laughs> nothing else is nothing else is new there. But maybe one of my shorts will strike some luck and pick up steam at some point. Who knows? But it is interesting to play with. Just to see how it would impact things. Just because shorts are such the new, it's just the new wave. It's like how much people uh, taking their content in shorts so much these days. So it's good to mix it in, but. Spring and summer is approaching, so we try to keep it a little lighter. What else? Uh, randomly yesterday I watched this blatant ripoff of the Wilderness Show alone. <laughs> but Netflix just stole it and did their own version. <laughs> I watched it. It was not bad. And when I say I watched it, I actually... I skimmed through a lot of it, to be honest. Because... Once you see one of those style shows, you kind of see them all. nature-based survivalist game show but it was just interesting how netflix just completely just stole alone and then put it on netflix in their own way typical of netflix probably <laughs> absolutely perfect meal my coney is too hot to touch to be honest on a sausage 
Yeah. I'd rather have a sausage just like how like regular like a sausage is supposed to be. It's good, but the sausage has too much uh, extra fat and stuff going on because the sauce is already, coney sauce is already quite greasy fatty by itself. So it doesn't really work, but it was worth a shot to try. And I might try some other coney dishes in the next couple days over the week here. Coney week, what maybe we'll call it. Coney only. That's the brand name that I'm coming up with. I met somebody to design stickers. But anyway, I need to get a backpack machine, make a big old bunch of batch, backpack them off, freeze, stickers, and then publicly advertise and uh, see what I can start slinging for. All right, till the next one, you know what to do, eat good, live well, stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.